everybody, today we're going to be reading a book called Zippy's Little Bear. Daddy Bear and Little Bear were on their way to playgroup, but Little Bear kept wandering off. Keep hold of my hand, Little Bear, said Daddy Bear. Oh, he wants him to hold his hand, but he just wants to catch the butterfly. So they want different things. He wants to hold his hand, but he wants to catch the butterfly. Uh -oh. I hope this ends well. Go gently, Little Bear, said Daddy Bear at playgroup. But Little Bear didn't listen. Oh dear. He doesn't look like he's happy. I think he's trying to snatch this cupcake off her. I didn't know they had cupcakes at playgroup. Look, he's drawing. But he seems shocked like, what's happening? Fighting? Oh dear. He looks happy that he's snatching. That doesn't sound good. Look, little bunny's like, <gasps> as well as this little mold. And look, there's little pictures. That's the mold with this one. There's the fox. And there's the carrot. You probably know what the carrot means. The little bunny. Little bear, it isn't nice to snatch. It's better when we share, little bear, said daddy bear. Oh, he doesn't look like he's happy. He's like, cross, can we make cross first? Good job. Now, we shouldn't be cross that much because if we're cross, it means something bad's happening. Like this, not sharing. And like someone's not being nice, someone's being rude. We shouldn't be mad because that means something's bad happening and we don't want anything bad happening, do we? No. Okay. Later, Daddy Bear took Little Bear to Little Bunny's birthday party. They went shopping on the way. Please hold my hand, Little Bear, said Daddy Bear. Oh, really? He doesn't think he wants to hold his hand again, he says. Really? Like, if it says really, like in this, this really means, oh, really you want to hold my hands? Hmm. He doesn't know the road crossing, the road crossing signs. They hold hands if you have a kid crossing the road. You get, I see, when I'm going, I see circular signs with a man and a little kid holding hands. That's what you should do. Oh dear, and there's a toy shop. Hopefully it ends well because this isn't going so well right now. When something in the toy shop window gave Daddy Bear an idea. Look, Little Bear, he said. Mouse wants to speak to us. Ooh. Okay, look, they're looking in the window. He's looking like, he's looking like. Mouse wants to come to the party too, little bear, said Daddy Bear. But he hates to be late. Ooh, so they better go nice and early so they're not late. Okay. And he's like, he's like happy and he's like scared.
scared or worried. Can't tell that face. Usually, cuddle bears are the nicest. They, they're not even alive. But big, huge bears. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't know. That's really dangerous. <laughs> so hopefully, we only see teddy bears every place because we don't want to see any huge bears. They reached little bunnies party on time. Mouse whispered in daddy's ear. Daddy bear's ear. Wonder what he's saying. Mouse says, excuse me please, said daddy bear. That's polite manners. So, Mouse here is polite. So, this is a polite mouse. I didn't know toys could come alive. And I didn't know mice can talk. Little Bear ran to play on the train. Mouse whispered in Daddy Bear's ear again. Mouse says, can she have a ride on the train, please? Please is polite as well. And I don't know why he's crying. He's like shocked and shocked and shocked. Maybe he bumped or he just ran and gone without asking if he can go on there to the mold, asking if it's where he was going to go. Oh dear. Hopefully this is good here. Well, it's all good. Little Bear snatched the popcorn from his friends. Mouse whispered in Daddy Bear's ear once again. Mouse says, would you like some popcorn? So he's being polite again. Bunny and Mole. Bunny and Mole might want popcorn, but there's popcorn here. If they can try catch them, they'll get some popcorn. Card. but he needs to share he can just say can he have some popcorn please and if they say yes he can take some not all the whole box mm. when it was time to go little bear stood silently on the doorstep mouse says Thank you for having me, said Daddy Bear. See the next page. They're smiling and smiling. And smiling. I don't know though, he can't see his face because he's turning out back to us. You can see the side of his, but you can see his little eye there. And his little um, snuggly man, Daddy Bear. I think. Little Bear looked at mouse then he looked at daddy bear when he looked at little bunnies mummy and said and thank you for having me you and mouse can come and play any time oh thank you for coming little bear smiled little bunny's mummy mouse likes the way you said thank you said daddy bear and so do I. 
to going home and holding hands. The story ends. The sharing begins. Look, he's offering little mouse to bunny, saying, you have a turn. That's really nice. The end. Thanks for watching. See you all another time. Love you. Bye.